have to admit that my position in this has changed over the years and as a much younger teacher, I wasn't actually convinced that uh, wearing a school uniform actually made people learn any better. However, over the years um, I've listened to parents and to young people and there are a number of reasons why we feel that wearing a school uniform is very important. When the school was formed in 2014, we looked at what would be a good school uniform and uh, what we decided, and this was the young people, the parents and the staff all together, was that the colour, colours of the previous two schools, red and blue, should be merged to make purple. So we clearly identified Cumbernauld Academy's purple with the merger of the two previous schools and that's been a really successful thing. The tartan that is the tie for Cumbernauld Academy was designed by uh, the staff and students of Cumbernauld Academy and the badge is an amalgamation of a number of designs of young people uh, in Cumbernauld Academy. So the uniform belongs to the school because it was created by the parents, the pupils and the staff of the school and it's important that we wear it because it clearly identifies us, our values, what we believe in, um, in a physical way. So when you wear the uniform of Cumbernauld Academy, you're saying to people in the local community and in here that you subscribe to the values of Cumbernauld Academy, which is a really, really important thing. There's also a health and safety aspect of the uniform, and that's so that we can identify very clearly if someone is on the school premises or in the school yard um, who does not belong to our school community. There's also an equitable aspect to it as well, that the uniform should be affordable, which we think it is. Black trousers, black skirts, white shirts, etc. can be bought anywhere and the blazer, although it is supplied through Baru, can also we purchase at a number of other suppliers. Um, so we feel that it's the least expensive option for parents and it takes away all the kind of designer label aspects of the wearing of clothes within the school community. So it's about subscribing to the values, it's about making things fair and it's about keeping things safe for everyone. Hopefully that makes sense to you all. Thanks very much and enjoy wearing the uniform of Cumbernauld Academy. At Cumbernauld Academy, school uniform consists of black trousers or skirt and a white shirt. There's a purple tie, which for juniors looks like this, so you've got a lovely purple tartan, or for seniors it's a slightly different design, but still purple. Um, plain black footwear and a black blazer with the school logo um, just on the left-hand side. Examples of things that are not acceptable are hooded tops, trackies, caps, leggings or jeans. So for school shoes we say that students should be wearing plain black footwear. So if we have a look at this picture now we can see that the two on the left both completely plain black, both perfectly acceptable. If we have a look at the shoes, the three shoes on the right hand side, we can see that we've got um, a mixture of black and white and we would usually say that as long as the shoes are mostly black this would be absolutely fine as well. Anything else, so if the shoes are not mainly black, we'd say that they're probably not acceptable. So in this picture, we've got these examples of these very, very nice fetching boots, which are probably not really going to be acceptable for, for school uniform. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Mr McDade. I am um, the head of PE, um, also the head of music and drama as well, but um, today I'm just going to have a, a quick chat about uh, about PE kit. Um, so uh, what we really ask for is, is plain black, that's really the, the major focus. Um, so a plain black t-shirt, uh, plain black shorts or um, kind of um, maybe sports leggings, three quarter style leggings um, if, you, if you fancy that option. Um, you don't have to take the, the Cumberland Academy um, uh, top or shorts, you can get those from Baru along with your uniform, um, but as long as uh, the badge that you have on is just a wee small badge, we don't want anything 
um, any big logos or, or anything like that on your on your, your stuff at all. Um, as you can see, um, we've got a smashing uh, indoor area, but at times you will be um, outside. Um, and when we go outside onto the AstroTurf, uh, you may well need uh, a change of shoes. Um, obviously the AstroTurf is all weather, um, but that's not to say that it hasn't been wet. Um, so at that point, um, you may want to bring in a change of shoes. As well as that, uh, you might um, get the opportunity to go outside. Um, we'll have some basketball courts set up outside. There's also uh, a trail around the, the outside of the school. Um, you may be walking on that, you may be running on that. Um, at times you might even um, be cycling on that. Now, um, for, for those occasions, um, your teacher will direct you and give you a bit more information as to what you need um, as the weather starts to get a wee bit worse as we go through the winter. Um, but certainly for returning, um, if you if you turn up looking a uh, plain black t-shirt, black shorts or sports leggings, um, then that would be perfect. Um, and we'll see you after the summer. Bye bye. Now in terms of sourcing your school uniform, our official supplier is Baru. Now they have a store in Kirkintillic which is well kitted out with everything that you could possibly need. If you choose to go online, you can, If so I've just typed in Baru uniform um, and the website is actually kitmykid.co.uk so click on that and there we go so here's our website and we scroll down the long list on the left hand side to find Cumbernauld Academy and here you have <coughs> excuse me here you have everything that you could that you could need so as i scroll down here you can see that we've got um we've got blazers at the top so the s6s then we've got boys and girls uh, blazers so you can see that the the larger size is at 46 pounds 50 at the time at the moment which is the 23rd of june 2021 um and then we've got the uh, smaller sizes there in the boys and girls at 30, £34.50. The tie, so the junior tie S1 to 4 is 7 99 and the crested tie uh, with the school logo on for S5 and 6 is 10 49 um, And then you've got the PE kit underneath. So there's a boys uh, gym t-shirt and a girls uh, t-shirt there as well for £9 each. So that's where we recommend that you source your school uniform. Now I think you can actually get the ties delivered, so you can see that there's an add to cart button there, and if I click on that, yeah, it's added it's added one S1 to S4 tartan tie um, to my basket. Um, but for the others, for the blazers, um, etc., it's, it's a good idea to go and see them in store. In terms of black trousers or skirts, white shirt, school shoes, anything like that, you can source from source from anywhere. And supermarkets are usually a pretty a pretty good bet. We do um, discourage purchasing expensive items of clothing for uniform. Uh, our uniform is av widely available from local supermarkets. Grants are also available uh, through the Scottish Government. Information on this can be accessed through the North Lancashire Council's website. If you'd like any extra information or you're struggling to find um, information on that, you can contact the school. We are lucky in Cumbernauld that we also have a great service, the Cumbernauld and Kilside Uniform Bank. This is a referral service. There is also the Financial Inclusion Team, um, North Lancashire's Financial Inclusion Team. This will help families maximise their income and 
work with families to make sure that you are getting everything that you're entitled to. Again, any information can be accessed um, through the school.